now the area's certified most accurate forecast. Your weather on the fives with meteorologist Anthony Dunn. Welcome back. A good Friday morning out there to everybody. We do have areas of clouds in the overnight, and uh, that'll lead into a mixture of sun and clouds as we go through the morning hours. 66 degrees at 9 a.m. One thing you're going to notice here today on this last day of August is that the temperatures are going to be jumping up more so versus the last couple of afternoons. We topped out at 71 yesterday. We may in fact get to 80 in Green Bay this afternoon. A mixture of sun and clouds throughout. I don't think much in the way of a chance for any precipitation. I wouldn't say the chances are zero but uh, probably pretty close to that through the daylight stretch. Warmer near 80 today. Thunderstorms returning. That'll be overnight tonight. And there can be some heavier downpours involved with that. And when I say heavy rainfall totals over the next several days, we could be talking about multiple inches cumulative around northeast Wisconsin. So we'll have to hope that that does come in stages so we can get this to drain off just a bit because the ground really not able to take much more as of right now. Pella, windows and doors of Wisconsin, Oshkosh at uh, 50. Four degrees and a relatively cool, similar to yesterday's start. As I say, though, we're going to warm up more so today as southerly winds pick up and go around 15 miles per hour. These light shaded green counties are southern two rows of counties within the viewing area under a flash flood watch that goes through 7 p.m. tomorrow and that takes into account the heavy rain that is expected to sweep on through overnight tonight. And there may be a few additional spotty showers and thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon as well. We'll talk more about that coming up. There is a weather disturbance passing nearby this morning, but that is just skirting off to our northwest. So not anticipating that that will be bothering us. Certainly here Green Bay to the Fox Cities, as you could see, getting a shower or thunder shower to graze across extreme northern sections closer to the upper peninsula of Michigan. This warm front, though, means business, and I've got the arrows to the south of that indicating a flow of very warm and humid air that is on a trajectory for the Badger State. And in short time, you will be feeling humidity this afternoon, but really feeling it ramping up over the weekend. I talked about this high pressure cell yesterday, which was a little bit further westward. That is going to be moving to the east and camping out here over Tennessee and Kentucky for a few days into next work week. And the counterclockwise flow around that will be sending uh, disturbances in our direction, giving us periodic threats for some heavier rain and thunder thunderstorms right on through the middle of next week. Dew points in the middle 50s as of now, but those creep into the mid to even upper 60s this afternoon. And look at this dew point trend board over the next seven plus days. It is going to be very, very humid and even uh, a Gulf Coast type feel here into Wisconsin in early September. That is what is anticipated going forward. You can see on the model though, 9 a.m. out towards noontime, getting some sunshine to mix in with those clouds. And that's going to be critical to getting the Mercury to approach 80 degrees here. Green Bay to the Fox Cities. We got more cloud shifting in later tonight and watch the good chance for showers and storms developing well after midnight. And that'll include perhaps some gustier winds. Uh, I don't think anything of the consequence of the other day in terms of severe weather, but the potential is there for some stronger winds. So we'll keep an eye on that throughout the day. Dave Miller will be here this evening. We've got temps in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees right on into next week, Brittany. But the biggest factor of all is going to be the humidity and occasional downpours sweeping on through. Kagan allergy report. Pollen is high. We've got mold very high. That not changing. That's not the greatest news. Facebook and Twitter, social media have been posting a lot this morning, talking about temperatures, talking about uh, heavy rainfall. And as I said at the top of the show, Brittany, we could be looking at multiple inches of rain uh, over the next week. And we've been talking about it. Lots of basements already flooded. Go to our website, wearegreenbay.com. Robin Oginia did a great story about how to to prep your basement in case it is prone to that flooding. It's rain we don't necessarily need right now. No, we don't. And overnight tonight, heavy rain expected. And then again, probably Sunday afternoon at some point. That'll be the next time step to watch closely. All right. Thanks yep. so much, Anthony. Nate. Thank you guys enough.